migrating into less and less coherency. What's your name? Maddie. Maddie, Zach, with T's or D's? Uh, D's. What do you want to poem about? I love it. It was, it was very exciting. I, I liked how he asked me questions, and then he just kind of focused in. And actually, when I read it, I, I was just like blown away by the last sentence. What do you like? What makes you happy? Cover your ears, Mom. <laughs> it was cool, actually. I was attracted by the sign at first. Yeah, come by the Nelson. I'm there all month, writing poems. I would go to my friend's house and I would borrow a typewriter and I would say, oh, I would go there with the intention of exploring my own uh, private personal dramas and then write, 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 write until I wasn't inspired any longer, at which point I would ask people who were in the room what I should write about. And when I realized that they would give me ideas and respond and I could provide a fairly honest product, I decided that if I tried to go outside with it, maybe I could make a donation or two or three or four. Which is just slowly developed into being, hey, this could make a living for you if you just believed in it and did it instead of going to your normal job, make a minimum wage at a retail shop, you sit in front of the retail shop and sell poems, you actually make more money. Ride the wild, Denver Little. Stay free, man. That's awesome. Well, I think what makes this particularly unique is that Zach does it on the spot and it's stream of conscious and I know that a lot of my artists work in that same sort of way where the work is very spontaneous and inspiration strikes and they seize it and uh, use you know a lot of times painters will put that on canvas I love that Zach is putting that on paper and I think that I think that there's an electricity with that spontaneity and that sort of having to put it down on paper right away your poem is epic no, it's epic. It's like, what? Epic narrative, dude. George Lucas, eat your heart out. <laughs> Meeting someone right immediately and coming up with something like this that actually is meaningful to me is pretty amazing, actually. The challenge to have someone give you a little bit of piece of data and open up a space that can potentially include really profound truths without necessarily saying them. I don't think I actually have to write poems. I think I have to take the typewriter out, and that's the job. The job is in the typewriter, not in the poem. Because most people don't have a very advanced relationship with poetics. They're not like, not a poem or is a poem. It's just sort of like an open-ended, like, I was told it was a poem, so it became a poem in that moment. It just really solidifies what I do as an artist. Because I work with my hands, and, and he works magic on the typewriter. Let's keep it clean. What do you want to poem about? He took my topic to a completely different direction. But <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> He's clearly creative. He has a great imagination. Are you in love? Yes. With who? Yeah, I like to meet new people, but I don't like to maintain consistent connections. It's like Kim Gordon said, I used to have dreams and then they all came true, so now I have a whole bunch of other dreams, you know what I'm saying? But they're actually the same ones. It's all broken. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Ride the wild. Be well. Come to the Nelson. Buy a poem. Yes, actually, I. Uh, Thank I you, sir. I'm on coming, actually. Well, I came to you instead. But come anyway, because it's cool. They have ancient magic. Absolutely.